Welcome to another V-Ray for Cinema 4D tutorial. This one is going to be focusing on luminance and specifically how to get a luminance with an alpha applied to it. So it's only emitting uh, luminance from a certain part. So I spent a, quite a while trying to figure this out for the image that I was trying to create and it just did not work at all like any of the other tools and and v-ray or cinema 4d or like any texturing part uh, or shader i guess portion of any program that i have ever used so it confused the crap out of me i don't know why it's made like this but uh, this is how it's done so as you can see here this is just a flat color assigned to the luminance channel of a sphere so oops that's that's the final result uh, as you can see it works um, but the so the luminance here I just have a color plugged in here uh, you could plug in a texture you can plug in whatever you want um, the normal way that you would think it would work like so if you use a diffuse here you turn this on you put on your texture here and then so you say for like tree branches so uh, I'm doing this in the uh, luminance channel because I was testing stuff um, but this doesn't work. So like in, you, in the diffuse layer, you would put your texture there and your transparency here and only, and then you would invert it because V-Ray is weird and just works that way. You have to invert that. Um, but you would have just the tree branch, as you can see here, you have just the tree branch uh, that is visible. <laughs> well, in the luminosity channel or luminance, yeah, luminosity channel. Uh, that does not work that way at all. Here, I will show you real quick what that looks like. So not at all the way that it works in the, um, what's it called? The diffuse or specular. Specular is the same way, works the same way. It doesn't work like that at all uh, in the luminosity channel. So the way that you actually do this is you, well, let's open up this shader here. So I just have a, a noise, random noise that I created uh, using the V-Ray stuff, the V-Ray plugin. Um, but this is, so if I bring this back down to white, it's just black and white image uh, that is colorized. So the white parts are gonna be the visible parts. The black parts are gonna be the parts that you aren't gonna be illuminating uh, or you're not gonna be emitting luminance from. So. If you wanted to use a texture, just go into Photoshop, take your alpha channel. Yeah, your alpha channel from like your diffuse. The uh, diffuse, this is the way I did it. The diffuse works, and I'll show you if I can. Um, let's see, it should be here and here. And then, so I was using Speedtree. And then, so I just took the alpha channel, which was just this image, but it was flat white and then I put a color over it and I just I just selected it with the magic wand tool and Photoshop or you could do it whatever way that you wanted that's the way I chose to do it and so I just did that and then made a new layer and paint bucketed in whatever color that I wanted so that's what, exactly what you would do here uh, if you're doing here, this if that's what you need so the it doesn't have to be white like I said here like I showed uh, it can be whatever color as I update, whatever color here it updates into the little preview that you will see uh, is actually going to be made into the render. So uh, you just put your color in and that's the color that's going to be uh, eliminated. So if I open up the renders here, you can see the, the black parts are where it's invisible. You can see that this, this is just to prove that it's actually not emitting from there and it's actually opaque there or not opaque whatever you can see through it in that in those parts that are black um, but you could also see there is some overlap here uh, I don't know exactly how to get that to not happen um, with it well I guess I mean I know why it happens so if you click on the luminosity uh, double sided I had it checked or it's double sided. I don't double sided. I don't think really does much. I have yet to figure out what that really does. But the mid on backside is what that does. Like what what causes the overlap. So if I, whoops, that's not the right thing. 
if I open or turn on this sphere and render that back again, you can see that there's no overlap here. It just uh, is like it has normals applied to it. If you know how um, like texturing works, there's normals on everything. And so it's like you wouldn't, you don't see that. But if I turn that back on the emit on backside and I hit render again real quick, see that there's overlaps so it's basically like a double-sided material it emits on the normals um, like if you were to have a plane you if I turn the plane around you wouldn't see it at all and then with that checked you'd see it on both sides so that's kind of why that happens if you were trying to make this as like uh, for like a creature you're trying to use this for like a creature, say like some jellyfish. You're trying to make a jellyfish. Some jellyfish are um, are bioluminescent, and parts of them do actually um, have this luminance, but part of them also don't. Yet it affects their luminance affects the uh, acts like as a as a light, I should say, um, to light the other parts of their body. I haven't quite figured out how exactly that works because if I show you, um, I guess I don't have it fully here. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so this brings up another point here. If I drag this onto the sphere here, uh, and I turn that one off, so I drag that one on the sphere. You'd think that maybe that this texture that I had applied earlier, that is in uh, these renders, this purple-ish texture. You would think that that would maybe apply over this if I turned off the or the luminosity and just had a straight diffuse here, and I tried to render that, but no, it just overwrites it. So uh, it doesn't work like the um, what's it called? What is that called? I'm drawing a blank here. Sorry about that. Displacement. It doesn't work like a displacement material. So if you don't know how displacement material displacement materials work in V-Ray, uh, you make your displacement, you apply it to your your plane or whatever that you're using it for and most often used for like uh, planes for like the grounds and ground and stuff uh, so you you'd apply that and then you would drag your diffuse over that to the right like this is here so this would be your um, displacement and then this would be your diffuse uh, it doesn't work like that unfortunately uh, so <laughs> I haven't quite figured out how you would get it to affect the other part without um, without having it oh I need to turn that on without having it will look weird so like this you can see the it's still got some like overlap and it looks kind of like it has some sort of a uh, a like alpha applied to it so like you can see through it um, but and maybe if I scaled that up I guess since it's inside of it that might be causing some weird things to happen let's try and just scale that up and see what happens Okay, so that works a little bit better. So that's actually probably how you'd go about doing it. So if you wanted to create some sort of like nucleus thing, or like I said before, if you're using it for like a jellyfish, you would just duplicate this object and then you would uh, make sure it's not fully inside of it. Like that one just was, as you can see, it didn't work. Um, but that way it'll actually affect the geometry and light the geometry that you have around it. Um, so glad I figured that out while I was going uh, but <laughs> hopefully this helps you out I spent quite a like I said I spent quite a long time trying to figure this out not too proud about that I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner but why it works this way is beyond me because it should 100% work the way that every other part of the shader works which by the way this channel uh, right here this transparency I have absolutely no idea what this is used for so if you have any clue what this is used for because like if you change this to black like it just it gets rid of the transparency of this so I guess that's what it would be work uh, it just basically turns off this emit on backside pretty much um, so I don't know why it works this way I don't know what they were thinking when it works this way there's probably a reason to it if anyone knows the reason to, for that uh, please feel free to share because uh, it just confuses me and I like to know things. So, uh, But hopefully this helped you out if you stumbled across this video and you spent a long time trying to figure this out as well. Uh, hopefully this helped you uh, if you didn't ever figure it out. But if not, I'm sorry if this isn't what you were looking for. I'm sorry. Uh, 
But if you have a question about it, maybe I can answer it. Feel free to leave your question in the comments and hopefully I can try and help you out. As you can see, I can kind of work my way through solving issues. So I might be able to solve your issue as well. Feel free to ask any questions, uh, but thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, leave a like, a comment, whatever you need. Um, but thank you guys for watching uh, and have a good night.